Maiden speech, Emma Little Pengelly. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, firstly, can I express my gratitude to you for the calling me to give my maiden speech during this important debate? And it is a pleasure to follow the Honourable Member for Stafford. I feel so truly honoured and humbled to stand in this great chamber, the mother of all parliaments, yeah. and to represent my beautiful constituency as a unionist member for a Belfast South. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the banks of the Lagan as it weaves through my constituency, I represent the wonderful people of Botanic, Malone and Stranmillis. Past the striking architecture of Queen's University and Stranmillis College, through to the hills of Castlereagh South, right up to Carry Duff. Our communities of Ormo and Balnafai, Beaver and Totmona, Finnicky and right across. South Belfast has the most diverse community in Northern Ireland. I represent a constituency of great depth and beauty, of arts and academia, community history and celebration. We have many with relative wealth, but we also have communities with challenges including educational underachievement. I give this promise that I will do my utmost to represent all within my constituency to the very best of my ability. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I stand here not just in my own stead, but of so many generations of loyal Ulster men and women who loved the Union. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think of my ancestors, in particular of my great-grandfather, James Sanford, who went over the trenches of the Somme, the horror that awaited, not just for his love of Ulster, but for king and country. So many of my relatives fought for this country as proud Ulster men for freedom and democracy, the very same freedoms and country I will fight and defend with all that I have. I am very proud to be part of this incredible union, not just proud but hugely privileged to be part of this great democracy that defends our right to private belief, to public opinion and the sacred and protected ability to argue, discuss and persuade. Our democracy is one of the right to all beliefs and views and to none at all. I believe that is the very thing that makes us great. I want to take the opportunity to send my sincere best wishes to my predecessor, Dr. Alistair MacDonald. He served his constituents well for many years and helped make South Belfast what it is today. Just recently, this house unveiled the coat of arms in remembrance to Joe Cox. My thoughts are with her family and friends who undoubtedly still feel her pain so acutely. I also look to my left and I see above the door the coats of arms of three more of our colleagues that were murdered, murdered by terrorism. The one closest to me is the Reverend Robert Bradford, who represented my constituency of Belfast South and who was murdered by the IRA, serving his constituents in Finnegy Youth Centre. I'm reminded of the words of the poet, history, despite its wrenching pain, cannot be unlived but if faced with courage need not be lived again. Mm -hmm. There is a warning in that sentiment. We must always be vigilant lest we regress back to the horrors of our recent past. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, I want to stand for all of those who feel they have no voice while promoting those determined to build our economy and improve lives. Let us build on the strong foundations of the union of duty, sacrifice and service to celebrate and grow our great and glorious union. I look forward to being a joint champion for South Belfast and playing what part I can to build a peaceful, better and brighter future for the union and for all of her citizens. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.